Hello, Vinyl Community. I'm Will Smith. Um, it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon here in Utah. My normal Sunday routine is a little thrown off. Normally we go to church and do things like that. But today, a little bit different schedule. And while I was here waiting, uh, the mailman showed up. So Amazon Prime's new contract with the U.S. Postal Service uh, has them actually out delivering Prime packages on Sundays, which is uh, both interesting and exciting. I, for the first time in a long time, got a tax return and purchased a few things off of my Amazon wish list. And so I wanted to do an unboxing with you here uh, uh, for a box set that I'm really excited about. It is Cash, the American Recordings uh, box set. Um, American Recordings 4 was probably my first introduction to Johnny Cash. And I've since come to have a great appreciation for him as a musician um, and things. But this, these, these particular albums were really my first introduction. So I'm really excited about getting this uh, and opening it here. So let's dive in. So let's see here. Box is kind of uh, is kind of neat. Um, has this back cover, paper cover. There's nothing really to that. I'm not going to be keeping that. But the cover itself is actually has a, some type of a textured cloth on it. I don't know if you're able to hear or see that. It's kind of easy to see in the writing of Cash. Um, but outside of outside of his name, it is otherwise black. Now it does have the American. Recording symbol on there, uh, flag in distress, um, which is kind of interesting, but uh, but still, pretty neat box. Uh, open on the one side, things could uh, can just fall out, but but that's all right. Um, let's see here. None of the none of the records inside are are sealed, which is convenient. See, first up, Johnny Cash, American Recordings, the very first one done. I'll let you see here the track listing of this particular album. Supposedly, as he went to go and make this, cool lyric sheets there, kind of a kind of a note sheet, album thoughts. I don't know if my mother was a good guitar player or not. When I was seven, she was the only one I'd ever been close to, so there was no one to compare her with. A lot of interesting uh, notes here, and I'm probably going to have to take some time while listening to this to read over these, uh, these notes. So much of this is, uh, on this particular one, there's there's a mix of covers and um, yeah covers and originals. I understand later in the American Recording series, as he was doing the uh, let's see here, let's see if we can't get this record out. Very simple label. But very cool. Flip that over. I understand that he called the artist that he did the covers of the songs up one at a time personally and asked them if he could could cover their song and have it be part of his album. Uh, which would be, as an artist, you can only imagine a, a fantastic honor. Next up, this is American 2 Unchained. And you see there the track listing. Inner sleeve for this. Interesting. It gives here the uh, what is the cover for American Recording Six, and we'll we'll see that a little bit later. But um, on the back notes, veggie burgers were really good at the sessions. Never did know where they were brought brought in from but when they asked if I wanted one I'd order two interesting I don't know once again maybe uh, maybe something to read while listening to the record 
Uh, inside record, again, a heavy black vinyl, same labels as the other one that we've seen. Third up is Solitary Man. Potentially my favorite of them. You can see there the uh, the track listing. Fantastic cover of uh, of I Won't Back Down. Neat inner sleeve there. Same thing for the record. Nothing uh, nothing has changed in that regard. Next up, American Recordings 4. Potentially the most famous. It is on this one where he does a cover of uh, Trent Reznor's or Nine Inch Nails' Hurt. But there is the, uh, the track list. In addition, Bridge Over Troubled Water, Personal Jesus, uh, In My Life, Desperado, a bunch of really neat covers that he has done here. Um, let's see, for our inner sleeves. Kind of a neat... Uh, neat image. Looks like potentially a, a synagogue or a church. Some kind. On the back, a little letter from him. Record, the same. And for the second, this is the only double LP in the set. Picture during the uh, during the session, maybe some some lyric notes there, and then as well as some details of the songs on the back. And so, yeah, notes that uh, Trent Reznor for Hurt, Paul Simon for Bridge Over Tub of Water, Sting for I Hung My Head. Uh, Ian McCall, for the first time I ever saw your face. Um, great covers. And this this really, truly was my introduction to, to Johnny Cash. Second to last is the uh, American uh, Five, A Hundred Highways. There's the cover art, him in the studio. The back cover art. Uh, Cabin in the Woods. Have you see the track listings there? Interesting. This is a letter to... Uh, well, the back cover art has a letter to Johnny Cash from Rick Rubin. be an interesting read. And then the front cover... Uh, it looks like a. I'm not sure where that image is from. It'd be an interesting story to to hear about that mounted head. He's got some cables hanging hanging over there, and then uh, the track listing and and a little bit of information. Uh, Rick Rubin was the producer on this album, and so undoubtedly part of the reason for the letter there on the back. Last one is part of this box set. American Five Ain't No Grave. Here's the image that we saw from the previous inner sleeve that I had mentioned. Uh, this is potentially one of my least known uh, of the albums. Back cover art, you can see there Johnny Cash's face peering through a window. Simple person uh, image of the man in black. Clouds on this other side. I'll show you the uh, the track listing for this, and then the record has uh, has followed that same suit throughout. But there is the uh, the American Recordings one through six box set. I'm super excited to put these on and give them a listen. Um, Feel free to leave some comments below or ask any questions or anything like that. Otherwise, thanks for watching and take care.